Good afternoon, all, and I hope you have uh, enjoyed lunch, you've enjoyed uh, the conference so far. As I've been tasked in the next 30 minutes to take you around the world twice into about 130 countries, I like a challenge. But what you're probably more interested in and will be aware of is that that was a multi-year project. I had 40 people working alongside me on that team. And really, a lot of the, the thought and the planning and the how you're going to do that happens before you turn a single pedal stroke. What I'd like to do is use this time to take you behind the scenes and what would give you the, the confidence, the audacity, the team, the purpose to actually be able to do something like this. Um, and what I thought I would do to start with, if you have no idea who I am, then uh, I would play a one minute trailer for what will be the documentary um, later on in the year. I'm going to cycle around the world in 80 days. From Paris, around the planet, 18,000 miles. I've been building towards this since I was a 12-year-old boy. And it's just about ultra-endurance. It's just about physically and mentally, can you do this? The alarm goes off at half three in the morning, you're on the bike at four to actually get through it. Don't try and fight it. Just sit steady on the bike and do the hours. You just need to commit to not stopping. Yeah, there's a lot of pressure, a lot of pressure on Mark. I was really, really struggling. I really hit rock bottom. I'm feeling it 13, 14, 15 hours into a day. He definitely is pushing himself beyond whatever he's pushed before. It hurts. It really hurts. I'm never convinced that that trailer sells it particularly well. <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> No, do, do, do you know what? I mean, I, 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 wrote, I wrote about this early in the year. It was my fourth book, uh, but the first book where I had to reflect, you know, such a big team. It wasn't just a first-person narrative around an adventure. So it was a much different... Uh, and since it was published a few months ago, um, <laughs> absolutely... I mean, thankfully, people are enjoying it, but nobody has fed back and said that it's inspired them to wish to do the same. And whilst there's a lot of noise, a lot of distractions, a lot of uncertainty, what as individuals and teams we can focus on to get the best possible outcomes, to, to allow our teams to turn up and perform. And I'm not going to talk about these themes as theories. I'm not a business coach. I'm an athlete, but I'm somebody who year on year has built teams and crack records. Now I say that with some confidence because, well, they've not all worked. A fifth of my projects have failed, but they've never failed because of a lack of a plan. They've failed because sometimes you don't affect every part of the equation. And as I say, I, I, I say unreservedly and with some confidence, I've built a track record for creating leaps in performance, not repeating history by a small margin. Because with due respect, I'm not trying to do what my competition does. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to repeat last year a little bit better. I try and sit down with my leadership team and say, right, what's possible with the teams we've got, the timelines we've got, the resources we've got, and then really read that off script. And they're really t tight timelines I, I, I work around. Whilst we talk about teams, there's a lot of pressure around what I do and a lot of pressure around what you do. And especially in periods where there's so much going on, you know, it's pretty important to remember you know, what, what allows you to turn up and, and be your best at work. You know, the commitment that I have to, to, to turn up and lead my teams, the training process, you know, the recruitment, the strategy, the rest of it, it's a huge commitment. So uh, it's, always, it's always worth remembering not just your, your team in the office, but the team back home as well. Adventure is about taking on new things that excite you pushing yourself physically and mentally, but it's also about a view in the world. When you're pushing yourself, man-powered journeys by any means, you've got a unique viewpoint on the world. The mental preparation, the psychological side of it, is, is purely about you know, what's within your comfort zone. There's nothing you can really do specifically to mentally prepare for a trip. It doesn't matter how well you plan a trip, there's, there's the unknown and that's the exciting bit. That's ultimately why you do it. It's the same reason I could never do the same adventure twice. 
The only way to really prepare for a big, big expedition is to physically get yourself in shape. To know what it's like to be out there for, for long, long periods is, is purely falling back on the experience of, of having been there before.